just in time for the final stand, hopefully. Let's, uh, let's go. Right off the bat, you can see our small squad, what was left of rescue squad at the end of the event, separated from the main group as we, for the entire weekend, didn't really sync up with the main group of humans. We instead tried to help humans that were separated or try to find objectives, which is what we're doing here. Uh, for the final stand, we needed to find uh, five items, I believe it was, and have the NPC come over and destroy them with a sword or take control from the sword, something along those lines. So we found one and we're trying to hold it off and decide how do we get in contact with the main humans because the radios were not working properly. We could not get through. So we thought, well, maybe we can break through to alert the humans. And so we roll up to see what is actually going on. I want a wall right here. Zombies all sides. No, let them come to us. Let them come to us. Oh, they have used the over there. Okay, okay. Where, where is this going? Where? The humans are moving that way. Look at the big flags. No, humans on the right. Humans on the right. Look for the big flags. Further to the right, Tom. Upon arrival, we realized that the human group has actually pushed far further through than we first expected and are essentially surrounded by zombies and we are not going to be able to get to them. However, we do realize that they are moving backwards through a small choke point that will lead them out to where we wanted to get them to. So we just need to hold our position, which means moving back and hunkering down until they get there and hopefully surviving long enough to get the NPC there to take care of this objective. Yeah, no. Um, the location of the bomb... Where the shot? <laughs> The other mi the mission where we had to carry the water balloons to the big hall, there's steps, right? Okay. That goes up right back over there. Okay. So, I'm not sure how you get down there. I the call out. <laughs> yeah. But... Yeah, zombie, group up! Outside. Group up! Fall back to the wall. Fall back to the wall. Get him at a choke point. Ah. Hordig, hold the choke! Hold the choke! As the initial batch of zombie players rolls up, I'm actually not super concerned because we have a really good point here to hold with low walls we can shoot over that prevent the zombies to getting to us. So I'm kind of moving back and forth, just calling things out, spotting things. If there's a, a hole in our line or something, I'll fill that. But for the most part, I'm not digging in, just making sure that everything is covered. We have reinforcements behind. Yep. TK! This is where we die. Incoming straight ahead! Side! Knowing there's reinforcements behind us is definitely a plus as those are the people we were looking for. However, it also means that there are going to be zombies coming up from behind us as well. So we need to handle this push and then take care of everything behind us. But as this is happening, a horde comes from our front. And if you have never had a large group of people roll around a corner and charge at you, it is absolutely amazing and was such a cool experience. From this point on, I'm just going to let you enjoy the rest of this.
I hit you in there. I hit you bucked? I blocked it. I love here that we're able to have a simple conversation to clarify uh, whether or not my teammate tagged the person. And we had a little bit of confusion, but nobody got frustrated. We just quickly, calmly resolved it and, and the patch traded hands, which was an awesome thing to finally have happen. And there it is. All it takes is one little slip up of not double tapping a special zombie to make sure you get that tag and you can be out. But it was a glorious, glorious end and I am so thoroughly satisfied. Now, if you are the person that got my Fabu patch, I wanted to find you. I spent probably half an hour trying to find you after this game ended because I wanted to film with you because it was such a rush at the end there, just trying to get everything situated and uh, get the patch to you and move on. I didn't get to talk as much as I wanted to, so uh, I'm just, I'm glad the patch went to someone. It was an amazing experience. And thank you so much to Monkeytron Collective for filming and I believe the Redfields for providing the drone footage. This was an absolutely amazing experience. Uh, I wish I could have participated more in all of the missions, but uh, health and anxiety and all that prevented it. So I did not earn this final stand the way some players did, but still was absolutely just amazed to be able to experience this portion of the game. So if you have not experienced HVZ and you have a college or a group nearby that does it, I definitely, definitely recommend checking it out. Or if you can make it out to one of these large events like End War, definitely do so because it is it is an experience. That is the best way to put it. Having so many people running around, it's just absolutely crazy. It'll tire you out. You'll be exhausted by the end of it, but it's the good kind of exhausted that you're going to love and you're going to make some amazing memories participating in something like this. What do you think about my end or final stand? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.